Yeah, no, no worries. Uh, so today, um, Kaushika has achieved more than what she aimed at. And uh, she is on uh, cloud nine now because she has scored <laughs> like 450 in, in reading section, which is, uh, I mean, which could be more difficult for other students, but she was able to make it happen this time. And she was able to improve her uh, reading score, say from 360 to 450. Is that right, Kaushika? Yes, sir. Yes, it's sir. like almost You're 100 right, marks. Sir. It's a huge difference, yes. of course. Okay, so that's one good thing. And her scores from writing, uh, if, as far as the writing section is concerned, she has jumped from 320 to 360 now. Yes. Is that right, Kaushika? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what about your scores in listening and speaking? Listening, uh, 380, sir. 380. And uh, speaking, 380, sir. 380, uh, listening, okay. I... Yes, I got stomach pain or else I would have uh, did better, so. Okay, mm -hmm. you would have done yes. better. Okay, good. Yes, uh, so her previous scores were, I think, 319 listening, is that right? Yes, sir. Now you have scored to 380. So uh, in spite of all the health problems, she was able to perform very well. She, has, she was sick uh, to some extent during the examination, but she was able to perform really well and nothing was able to stop her from achieving her desired scores. Um, I, wish, um, helps, I would like to congratulate her. I mean, like it's 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 a huge achievement. Trust me, you did a wonderful job. You are you are you Thank are you. one of my favorite students. You know who was you able also, to sir. yeah favorite who was able person, to keep sir. yeah who was a, who was able to keep on sending me the letters without expecting me to assess you. <laughs> so she was <laughs> able to send letters like every day. You know, <laughs> like whenever I open you know my email, it was full of uh, you know. Um, her letters only uh, like she didn't expect you know whether I give you give you the assessment or not on time but she continuously you know has written down it's uh, yeah it's 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 really amazing I mean like I'm quite happy with the way you know that she progressed and uh, I've, I wish her good luck and I'm I'm gonna help her Thank out you. on you know how to get the registration done here in Australia as well uh, because I wish her to come here to Australia and settle down here yes. because Australia is one of the yes. you know, most developed countries which offers the best quality work-life balance as well so uh, yeah so um, yeah, now, now you, you know, Kaushika, you can just uh, talk about your experience, you know, what you have done previously and things like that. Yes, sure, sir. Uh, previously, I was uh, preparing uh, um, the same I was doing. Uh, I did my first attempt, but I was um, not able to get the score. I was, uh, I, I did not understand the exam, actually. And I had so much of problems and I, I were not able to correct it. Uh, but, but I... I joined the class and afterwards, sir gave me a lot of materials. Reading materials were really helpful. Only with that reading materials, it is not available anywhere, anywhere with in my friend circle or any other thing. There is only standard things. Sir prepared himself and he gave the material. That material alone I practiced and... I also uh, um, practice what sir told me, how to approach the exams. He told me to follow 10 methods to um, approach the exam. So I followed the same for reading, nothing else I did. Only what sir gave me for reading I did, I scored A+. plus. I never um, thought I will be scoring this much. So it's on purely dedicated to sir and it's because of sir only I have achieved uh, or uh, um, um, it is possible for me to do actually. I am not such a uh, mm, mm, uh, successful person. I've met with a lot of failures. I am really at cloud nine because of sir. I'm so much grateful until I live, I'll say. So, and uh, for speaking, I used to practice two cards. Also, the assessment which sir gave me was really helpful for me um, for correcting where we are going wrong. For writing, I wrote a letter to sir and every day and uh, but sir gave assessment uh, for almost 95 percent of letters oh, so yeah. i was able to i got a few more letters are... in my basket <laughs> i think i didn't i didn't give you <laughs> I the assessment yeah, for a few letters i think so i was able to give i think maybe yeah, around 95 96 percent of the letters if you wish i can assess yeah. uh, you know all the remaining letters <laughs> all right sure, sir. I'll... So uh, I was able to, um, um, I changed, I was, uh, um, I improved my skill a lot in 
writing mm, sir told me how to uh, summarize the case notes uh, every step please follow every step sir says it is the correct way we need to go for the exams uh, or else uh, it's very very difficult uh, um, and uh, listening um, i was like uh, sir told me 10 methods to follow so i followed uh, and it was really easy because uh, because he kept a uh, exam uh, in part a so during that time he told us how to approach the exam so it was very useful for me when i wrote there because last time when i did my listening i left two options blank and i got only 18 out of uh, 24 but this time i was able to do 23 out of 24 just because of the exams we had and the way sir told me to approach part a really helped me a lot so is that so then i practice daily uh, to listening and uh, what are the materials sir gave me i practiced from the materials also writing also please practice to what sir gives you because definitely um, uh, you will um, end up with very uh, good scores because uh, uh, they are doing bet- best and uh, i really um, tell you to follow what sir says so that's it that's all all right thank you so much kaushika and i'm very happy to hear you know such a blessing from you see all your blessings I actually make me ma- uh, made my day okay all right and uh, yeah i've been showering from you know all my students all right so um the all your blessings you know make my life uh, you know happier all right because i feel like you know i'm i'm, I'm yeah i'm getting a sense of satisfaction that i'm be- i've been transforming the lives of people all right i've been giving you know 100% accurate you're doing great sir yeah i've been g- giving you know 100% accurate assessment uh, in all the skills yes. whatever i can like speed, yes. speaking Perfect. or writing because you know you may feel that okay sir isn't giving me at all like b grade okay <laughs> many students you know even even anju or sandy you know sandeep and, and so on i know that you know you guys were not able to get you know 350 you may be frustrated but trust me whatever the assessment i'm giving you is 100 is going to be 100% accurate you will get definitely more than what i'm giving you will you will not get less than what i keep all right so i'm so strict okay so i would like you guys to you know achieve more like comfortably like 380 390 400 450 even you know look at uh, kaushika's performance in reading so she scored 450 right so i would like to help you guys to pass the exam easily don't just sit at 350 she is able to now score like 380 in listening and 380 in speaking so it's it's all really good and she practiced every day i know that it's really hectic for all the healthcare professionals you guys need to uh, look after your family your work and you need to manage to manage to study as well i know all these things it's hectic of course it is hectic but everyone has sailed through the same phase including me when i was you know preparing for the ielts examination way back in you know 2012 and 2013 i used to do the same thing i was i was you know i was working and cooking you know looking after myself plus i'm preparing for the ielts exam i i was um, i was actually determined i have got my goal in front of me i need to achieve it that's it there is no other option for me i need to improve my living standards i need to go to australia that's it that's my goal and i have achieved it i have scored 9 bands in reading and listening and 8.5 in speaking and writing you would have amazed uh, at the way that, that i assess your skills isn't it it's because i have yes. acquired those skills okay so whatever the assessment i give you trust me you will definitely score more than what i'm giving you okay or at least the the, the scores that i'm giving you all right as far as the writing and speaking skills are concerned if i give you you know um, some assessment all right if you give you some feedback you need to take it to your heart and you need to think in a positive way okay so you need to always take it to your heart and just move ahead you will definitely achieve your goals okay trust me i have helped more than um, 12000 students so far and you guys can you can achieve more than what you are aiming at as well but you need to be consistent as far as the practice is concerned you have to have a plan to execute every day you need to have say for example i'm going to write down one letter every day i'm going to send it to sir i'm not going to you know wait for his assessment i will i will send this one out but i'll i'll go back to my previous feedback and then i will read all those feedbacks and comments and then i'll try to eliminate those things it's all about identifying you know the mistakes okay the previous mistakes and try to prevent them that's what uh, kaushika has done she has committed so many mistakes in her first letter i can i can tell you yes, that sir. it was i think it was literally 260 or 270 is that right kaushika yes sir that's what i yes, gave sir. you yes sir yes sir yeah 
and then after that you know she was able to slowly understand you know the way to organize the case notes and write you know the complex and compound sentences and then you know present all the ideas in a well structured manner she was able to use all those you know linking phrases very well she was able to identify what case notes need to be included and what should not be and things like that so she has done a wonderful job you know she you know i, I would like uh, everyone to be like uh, kaushika because she she must be our role model okay so she has done so many things you know um uh, even beyond what i have taught she has done so many things as well and she was no, able no, to no. have role play conversations at least two every day with other students as well so i know it's very critical it's really difficult i know that but what i would like to requ request you guys is to find out the time from your busy schedule i know it's hard but you are the one who's going to do that all right i can definitely help you to identify your mistakes i can assess your skills i can do everything for you but you are the one who's going to find out the time for your practice please all right and uh, yeah so th that's what i would like to tell you does anyone have any questions uh, to ask kaushika please ask and yeah so everyone can ask one by one anju would you like to ask any questions to kaushika Uh, only i uh, congrats first of all kaushika thank you thank you so much uh, i want to know wha what difference you make uh, from the previous exam uh, to this one i mean in the reading mm -hmm. reading uh, reading yeah. uh, previous exam i found it very difficult i spent more amount of time uh, in writing paragraph i mean um, we uh, read the paragraph no i spend lot of time in reading paragraph when sir told me how to um, re how to uh, I mean, locate the, the keywords and, uh, yeah yeah locate the keywords and uh, we need to um, read the paragraph so it was easier for me i focus more on questions and uh, was okay to... yeah, so did you use um, you know the uh, the dividing strategies and you know like hide and seek and those those techniques i taught you yes sir i followed everything sir i followed what you told me sir mm -hmm. uh, i followed sir i daily used to take newspaper and read one paragraph uh, um, you told me one technique how to That's read correct. i yeah. used to put i even uh, um, did um, i mean i um, exercises before i did reading sir oh, so it was good. easier for me to complete faster sounds good and you have completed the reading tests uh, well ahead of the deadline is that right Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I completed. So, how much time did you get? How much time did you get um, at the end? A uh, five minutes. I got, sir. Wow, Pardon. that's amazing. Oh my God, <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> that and you, you have told me that you know there were many students who have found the reading very difficult, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Were... Everybody told Part C was difficult. It was very lengthy. It was very difficult to comprehend. But I followed um, the way we need to uh, write. I mean, uh, read the reading part. So you told me. So I followed that, and I was able to make some. Um, Sounds good. I'm yes, very happy sir. for you, Kaushika. Because so many paragraph. You... Mm. Yeah, sorry. Go there ahead. was no answer, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, they have uh, given just a paragraph to read, so that we will read, and our time will go by the time. Sure. So you told me there will be some tricks. We need yeah. to look for tricks. So I was able to identify. Then direct indirect question. I became a little alert. Whenever yeah. I did indirect sounds question, good. it will be difficult. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, sounds good. And uh, okay. As far as the you know the part B is concerned, were you hundred percent confident that uh, you were able to get all six answers were correct? Mm, uh, i am not uh, but compared to previous test i found it very easy sir but mm. part c i think i was able to write everything right part b i wrote what i felt i found it a little bit difficult um, here and there uh, uh, because it was um, i want to do part c so i am i was like bit stressed i want to finish 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 i was in the mindset so i just went through it sir but i found it easier i thought i think i might have scored five or four in part b but part c there are chances that i will have scored more than six in part c sir because i was little relaxed in the part c so that i have completed b and okay. i have um, time so part okay. a i did everything right sir everything no. it was a very new topic and uh, i i was able to do so i followed what you told me So okay, cool. it was easy. So so were you able to finish part a five minutes before the before the time uh, before the time is up? Yes, sir. I was able to complete mm. part a before the time. Is up. Oh, that's good. How much time did you get in part B at the end? 
was it like a couple of minutes at least yes sir. i got two three minutes sir, sir. Oh. but at the time uh, i went uh, again back to part b and i was uh, just seeing that i wrote my answers correct uh, i think i would have written sir four or five i would have got in part b sir okay all right all good that's good yes, and uh, actually see most of the materials that i have prepared for reading are are actually prepared by me only so uh, particularly for all the part a questions okay i have prepared the materials keeping in mind that um you know the students need to get the maximum potential from out of them okay so that's how i have prepared so they are going to be definitely equivalent to the uh, original oet examination material so if you can pass the re reading test the you know reading test materials that i'm sharing with you then you must be able to pass the original exam as well and that's how you know kaushika has scored 450 out of 500 it is really amazing it's going to be okay so uh, kaushika when you have practiced the reading test okay i mean before the original examination uh, how much were you able to achieve in part a b and c uh earlier sir before our class um i was able to achieve i used to get 30 and during the first time i'll get 29 but after you told me like how to approach um, how to like um, materials especially as material or fascinating sir especially awesome sir and uh, um, we are able to uh, acquire the best skills from yeah. the materials Yeah. reading material i followed only your material i did not study any other reading material especially for reading Yeah. so i would have got speaking cards from you and writing writing also i i i followed your materials alone sir yeah. and listening also i followed your material apart from that i did some from youtube sir so okay. i think that might have created some problems or else i even in listening i would have scored more than 400 sir um, yeah. okay, for nice. reading i completely uh, did only what you gave me so during your practice test what what scores did you achieve in the in the materials you know that i gave gave you uh it was first it was difficult for me to um, mm -hmm. get i was getting 17 after you taught me i, yep. I was able to get 17 then i to, i i told you like uh, it was difficult for me to read paragraphs so yep. you told me how to we need to approach so after yep. that i was able to get 19 and 18 19 was, out of 20 uh, right out of 20 yes, in part a right isn't it yep yes. so in part a i will tell you guys for part a if you score more it's going to increase the chances of pass okay i mean you should be able to get easily 350 if you score like at least 18 out of 20 in part a if you can get uh, you know 19 out of 20 or or all the marks in part a it's going to help you a lot because from part b and c we need only less uh, number of correct answers right so that can help a lot so were you able to get like you know all together for the reading section were you able to get more than 33 or 34 out of 42 in each reading test uh, yes sir i was you? able to in the final final step i was able to get sir in the final week when uh, we when uh, started to practice um, mm -hmm. i was able to get like 31 i was getting uh, previously 15 days before and after uh, when i was doing uh, i was able to score 33 34 in the practice sounds good so. sounds good i told you guys like if you can consistently score 33 or 34 out of 42 you are definitely going to pass the original exam don't be happy if you achieve just 30 out of 42 it's not good okay you need to always aim higher i want you guys to aim for 400 plus so that in the worst case you should be able to end up at 350 All right, that's one one thing, and uh, yeah, does uh, do you have any other questions, Anju? Do you want to ask? Mm, no, sir. All right. Um. Yeah. Uh. Can I ask someone? Yeah, uh, Ishwari, would you like to ask any other questions? No, sir. No, sir. All right. Uh, Priya, would you like to ask any questions? Yeah, sir. First of all, Doctor Kaushik, huge congratulations. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> you, you can call me Kaushika. It. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Then also, thank you, sir. Uh, without you, I think she can't. Yes, you are right. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for your uh, wishes. Then, yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, this is a uh, uh, this is a very useful group, sir. that is uh, you are doing a great job in this uh, yes. platform yeah. uh, then uh, how you get a desired score in uh, 
in, in listening uh, i feel little bit uh, difficulty there yes uh, listening uh, you can uh, listen to podcast daily abc podcast um, they'll um, um put in the um, google you can search abc podcast and daily they will uh, um, tell you some uh, information about um, everything so that will be used to uh, different slangs every day so that it will be easier for us to write during exam and you can also take notes when you are listening like what are they telling so that we will be able to follow because uh, for 5 minutes uh, we'll be able to follow and the next 5 minutes it will be difficult for us to follow so it was easier uh, in the listening sir told me um, to um, see abc podcast uh, every day and um, also uh, i practiced to listening every day that's yeah. amazing yeah. and yeah there is a there is an app called abc health or if you go to abc website there is a section called abc health and you can listen to all the you know the the conversations over there so those conversations were usually held between um, you know a wide range of english speakers so if you can go through those things like every day if you can make it like a habit okay for 3 weeks trust me your listening skills will be amazed you will be able to improve dramatically and you will you can't believe yourself that you have improved so much all right i'm pretty sure that you can do that okay so it's all about see uh, english is just a language that is what we have to first of all understand it's not going to test your knowledge at all never it's not your first language if you commit mistake don't be ashamed because it's not your first language right so what we have to do is that if you commit mistakes it's okay let's uh, let's not commit the same mistakes again that's it if you commit new mistakes i'm very happy i'm very happy to see you know new mistakes if you commit all right so yeah that's that's what you have to do so as far as listening is concerned you have to listen for the required information say for example if it is part a of the listening section we are going to get only the fill in the blanks question type right so well before the audio plays you need to know what kind of answer are we looking for is it a noun is it in the form of a noun or a verb or an adjective or an adverb or so on even you know over a period of time you will be able to get to know whether you need the name of a medication a symptom a treatment or you know maybe the name of the occupation of the patient and so on all right so if you follow the techniques i taught you should be able to predict the answers well ahead all right so before the audio plays okay you just need to go ahead to all the questions say for example if they're going to play the extract one that is going to play for question number 1 to 12 you have to go through before the audio begins you have to underline all the keywords of those questions quickly and then the, think about the correct form of the answer read and understand do everything you need to be able to quickly read and underline that's what you have to do so firstly underline all the keywords of the question then you read them okay in that way even if you don't read few questions in the bottom it's okay still you can manage because you have already underlined the keywords right so when the speaker you know talks about those information you must be able to get them done easily okay so that's what you have to do all right as far as part b and c are concerned they are going to be somewhat difficult isn't it because they have got three different choices and multiple choices are going to be somewhat harder than that of the um, you know fill in the blanks right so you need to always seek for the correct information that is going to be told by the speakers sometimes one speaker may uh, you know tell something and then the other speaker you know contradicts with that information and then they finally come to an agreement or a con- conclusion so you need to look you need to wait until they come to a conclusion or an agreement okay so that would be the correct answer if you have chosen the first one it could be incorrect so that's what you have to do so there are there are so many things that you have to do but apart from practicing the original practice test you know the listening test you have to you have to develop good ears okay good ears means um like you know good listening skills okay by it's actually an idiom okay it represents that you develop you know your listening skills by listening to something every day okay so if you ha- if you develop uh, you know good ears you must be able to get uh, you know 350 plus easily and, and another thing you need to focus on is to improve your uh, writing speed okay when you have to make notes you have to write quickly okay you need to keep on writing and then hold your pencil okay don't hold your pencil close to the writing edge of the pencil it's not good isn't it okay. yes so kaushika what did you do how did you write 
i uh, sir actually um, <laughs> i i used to write the first letter sir first letter of what i hear so i just want to make sure that i Hello? follow so yeah. yeah okay sounds good sounds good uh, does anyone have any other questions uh, priya would, would you like to ask more questions uh yeah sir uh, so far i have cleared sir what about writing uh, dr kaushika from first letter while you are writing and uh, a last letter before going exam how do you feel i felt like i was able to write um, everything um, uh, i was um, able to write uh, yeah, every uh, thing in a good way i develop my skills so i could see that before i go to the exams um the way i approached the exams was really good uh, everybody felt the exam was really lengthy in reading writing but i never felt it i followed the way sir told me uh, i go through the case notes i just put tick or uh, how to select the case note then i spent some time to write how how to write the um, i just had a plan about how we need to write then i wrote all the sentence structure which is mentioned by sir because um, it was really fantastic uh, we read complex sentence compound sentence it was very difficult for me previously i just write a subject verb object when i wrote my previous exam i was like i felt very very uh, difficult and i was not at all able to write but this time i wrote all complex compound sentence and i found it very easy i was very happy on that day it was so nice so i just followed that just uh, everything what sir says follow uh, step by step and definitely we can score Thank you so much for your work. Yeah, yeah, sure. All the best, and you will definitely achieve. Yeah, everyone can achieve. You know, everyone yes, can achieve. Sir. I'm pretty sure. Okay. If if Kauchi can can make, everyone can make. Of course. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Anju, do you would you like to ask any other questions? Oh, no, sir. Yeah. Okay. See, um, Kaushika has also committed similar kinds of mistakes as you did, and um, yeah. So she was able to identify the mistakes, and she was so careful. Uh, Kaushika, how much time did you spend on your uh, letter? Like, you know, to write the letter. Did you plan your answers? Uh, did you mark up all the relevant case notes? Uh, you know, to to organize them in the correct paragraphs. What did you do? Did you write any any kind of letters? You know, abbreviations like you know. um against them and one did you get some time to proofread so how did you go through yes sir i followed what you told me sir i first i read the case notes twice sir then i put tick mark in what case notes i need to um, planning to write in the letter then i put tick mark for um, everything and uh, after that i wrote it is current condition or past yep. condition yep. Uh, yes sir like how you told me exactly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i wrote everything so mm -hmm. uh, it organized it came organized sir then yes. um, you told me how to write an introduction in the same way i wrote Mm -hmm. i wrote uh, complex and compound sentences and i wrote the history uh, as they uh, told me i approach first the question first then only i came to the case note so that i was able to understand what i i have to write and who, um, what are the relevant case notes i was able to do so, um then uh, as you told me i wrote uh, various complex and compound sentences it came out really well sir mm -hmm. then uh, i corrected what all mistakes i should not do you told me we should not write uh, capital uh, i mean abbreviations etc sir so yep. there were a lot of abbreviations yep. if i have written today i would have not at all um, achieved your yep. without mm -hmm. you it would be impossible sir mm -hmm. i corrected or all mistakes even i was doing mistakes sir i, I was not able to correct it for 10 days you mm -hmm. called me and you told me sir you have to do all these then only i corrected sir without your mm -hmm. phone call on that day it will be impossible sir Definitely. i'm so grateful sir yes, yeah. so uh, remember guys writing down the abbreviations is going to damage your score you need to use you know the full forms of the words okay when you have to write down do not write you know bp you know when when you are you have to write down blood pressure okay so that's really important that's what she has done okay so try to use the full forms of the words because you are going to write down the um, formal letter okay so essay it's a letter is is always 100% formal 
so you should not use any informal okay. words okay you cannot write you know um, you know can you do this okay you have to say could you please okay when you have to write a letter to the address you requesting a service you need to use could you please or would you please okay that's how we need to use don't write can you or the patient wants to go home no it's not the good way you have to say the patient would like to uh, get discharged to home would like to go back home so that's how you have to use okay so you need to understand whether you are using the formal language that is one of the major aspects and kaushika was able to do it very well and kaushika did you proofread did you spend some time to proofread your answer yes i did some time to proofread um i just rubbed a sentence because it was uh, very much weak. i felt that the uh, uh, time uh, Uh, i felt that the uh, um, letter was bit lengthy but you told me to write the word limit like how much i should write but i didn't follow that every day so i think the letter was quite big sir because it came up to uh, my right almost the two pages were over when i completed my letter so i think uh, that might be a problem but you told me to count the words whenever i write the letter but i didn't do that sir maybe that may be the problem i think sir mm. i think so she might have i think she might have written on more words and that could have yes. caused uh, her to achieve only 360 otherwise she might have scored more than that because i think uh, i can still remember that one of her letters was uh, really good enough to get at least 390 out of 500 okay so i think she might have committed some sp- silly mistakes because of which she didn't score uh, 380 or, this or more than that maybe 400 you know yes sir yeah see um yeah anyone can achieve and uh, kaushika is the real example is the she is the live example for us okay you could be the next one you know anyone could, could be the next one everyone could be the next one ishwari priya and, and anju everyone will be the next uh, um, you know success story i'm i'm pretty confident about that okay Thanks. you guys need to sure. just follow the techniques okay whenever i give you the feedback please take it to your heart okay please go through please go through the mistakes please and then try not to commit those mistakes that's what i would like to you know request you guys okay so anyone can make it through okay so you see achieving your desired scores um, would be the one and only way for you to live a happy life a luxurious life you need to imagine your life you know after after going to australia so how you're going to live <laughs> all right that's how you need to imagine okay these kinds of things actually motivates you okay so they they motivate you to achieve your desired scores you need to think that you know you're going to buy a home in australia you're going to live a luxurious life you're going to buy a, uh, you know benz or mercedes cars and you know <laughs> you're going to live a you know like a work life balance so you have to think all about all of them and then you have to uh, you know go to the practice just do practice okay you yeah. All right. So this is the second session for Kaushika. She has come up once again to share her experience with us, and it was really nice to have her. And she's uh, yeah, she she's she's always trying to help us out. I'm I'm very happy for you, Kaushika. Sure, sir. Anytime, thank you so sir. much. Thank you so much. Thank you Love, so much, sir. Thank you. Yeah. I wish you good luck with your future endeavors, and uh, yeah, thank everyone you. should be able to um, achieve their design scores. i uh, wish you good luck with you guys uh, please keep practicing and on one day you will achieve your desired scores trust me okay yes, let's be positive we can make it okay yeah. so everyone is improving their uh, you know communication skills um, i can see them it is uh, for some people it, it has been improving dramatically whereas for others it is improving slowly i know that but we can together make a huge difference to your scores okay i'm here to help you guys out All right thank you so much for your time Kaushika and I really appreciate it uh, you, does sir. does anyone have any other questions so we're going to finish the session now because uh, we've got already 40 40 minutes okay no yes, sir all right um yeah I'll, i wish you guys to join back uh, you know now maybe uh, maybe in a minute you can just join back but uh, Kaushika uh, if no one else has any questions um yeah I would like uh, you to proceed with your life and you know enjoy um yeah yes. i wish you good luck with your uh, future endeavors thank you thank you sir i'm so grateful sir god bless you sir and yeah, thank all you. the best uh, thank, right. you, thank you so much have a good day bye thank you have a nice day